Hi everybody, this is Josh Burek, Instructional Technology Director from Wheaton Academy, and this video is to show you how to access our new online school calendar. In the past, we have printed out all this information in a nice, attractive calendar and then mailed it out to you, but we're now using the internet and technology uh, to do the same thing electronically. So what I'm going to show you here today is how to get to the calendar, how to use the calendar, and then how to connect the calendar to your computer or to your phone so that way you get updated events real time uh, onto those devices. So the first thing that you want to do is you want to go to our website wheatonacademy.org and down at the bottom here you will see a button that says new calendar. In the future I'm going to assume that this count button is going to go away and you would simply access the calendar from this tab on the left hand side here as we often cycle these buttons out but for now you'll see a nice big button that says new calendar and you click on that and that will take you to the online calendar and you'll notice there's kind of a main feed area here and it shows you the current week events obviously we can change this to day if we wanted to there is no month option although I do think that's coming in the future don't hold me to that, but uh, that is the rumor. But in the meantime, you just have a week view. If you want to go to another week, you can go to the right uh, calendar here on the right-hand side. Let's say we want to go to August, and then we can simply uh, select the current week. So let's go to the first week of school on the 25th. And these are the different events that are going on. So obviously you have a lot of uh, athletic events, but then other school calendar events will be in this view as well. On the right hand side below this little calendar you have view schedules so if you wanted to go to a particular event uh, you could go ahead and do that. We can click summer school and click view and then it shows you the dates of summer school in 2015. Not much more information than that. So, so there is a way to filter this information on the right hand side here if you would like. However, I think the most pertinent feature that you're going to use is this advanced view report and this is where we can connect all the main school events to your computer or your handheld device. So I click that button and then the first thing you want to do is deselect conference events and non-conference events. These are uh, purely athletic events and we want to have school only events checked and this will give you the traditional calendar events that we have distributed on hard copy in the past. So, so again, you want to have that selected and you would get our standard school calendar as a result. We scroll down and then instead of having the week of whatever selected, we select this school year and then you click generate report. And that is going to give you this window here. And so if I scroll down this, you know, just all sorts of events, uh, in the dates on the left hand side. Some might have where certain events are going to be. Obviously it has the times. This will constantly be updating as events change or times change or, or what have you. This is one of the great advantages of doing this uh, online. So, But instead of having you to come back here every time to check uh, the most current version of the calendar, what we can do is simply connect it to your calendar on your computer. So in the upper right hand side you have several options. You can print this out if you would like, you can email it to yourself, you can download it if you would like to do that as well into a PDF format or whatever other kind of format that you would like. Um, a calendar format is, is also possible. But once you do that then it, that's going to be a permanent uh, file. What is probably better is we want to click this subscribe link and that is what is going to give you the real-time updated calendar event. So I click subscribe and it gives me a number of options here. I'm going to show you iCal and Google. You can also connect this to Outlook. So I don't have Outlook on my computer but the concept is very similar and the steps are similar so this should give you uh, enough direction on how to link it. If for some reason it isn't working feel free to email me at jburick at wheatonacademy.org so what I'm going to do first is show you iCal. I'm going to click this iCal link and click launch application and then it's going to go ahead and automatically create the calendar within that iCal application. I'm going to rename this Wheaton Academy. 
The rest of this can stay the same. What I would recommend is that you change auto refresh from every week to perhaps every day. So that way if we do change something on the calendar, it checks it every day to see if there's any updates. I click OK. And then I am in currently the month of November 2014, but you can see all of the different events populate here on your calendar. So, uh, and again, this will automatically update if we make changes. You can deselect it on the left hand side if you're starting to get information overload, if you happen to have other calendars on your computer as well. So, that's iCal. For the Google Calendar, for those of you who use that, Again, we click on that link. We then go ahead and copy this URL by highlighting and hitting Edit Copy. And then you can go into, you log into your Google account, you go to your calendar, and then we can click under Other Calendars, this little arrow, and we click a calendar, and we add a calendar by URL paste that thing in there. You can right click and paste if you would like. Click Add Calendar and there it is. So again, same concept. So that is how you link to our online calendar. Uh, again, there's all sorts of options you can fiddle with if you have the time. Uh, but those are some of the basics um, of the online calendar. and. This is going to be the primary area where you get main school events uh, for Wheaton Academy. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to email me at jburick at wheatonacademy.org. Thank you.